Ever pondered the true essence of intelligence? Is it merely about acing tests or does it encapsulate something more profound? Today we're diving into the deep blue sea of the mind to explore this complex construct we call intelligence. Imagine intelligence as a multifaceted gem, each face representing a different cognitive ability. One face might glisten with analytical prowess, the ability to break down complex problems into manageable parts, another might shimmer with creativity, the capacity to connect seemingly unrelated ideas in novel ways. Yet another might radiate with emotional intelligence, the skill to understand and manage our own emotions, and empathize with others. But why stop there? Our intelligence gem also includes facets like practical intelligence, the knack for handling everyday tasks, and social intelligence, the talent to navigate the intricate dynamics of social interactions. Recognizing these diverse dimensions of intelligence is crucial. Why? Because it allows us to appreciate that intelligence isn't a one-dimensional trait. It's not just about scoring high on an IQ test or acing a calculus exam. Intelligence is so much more. It's about how we use our minds to understand the world, solve problems, create, and connect with others. So, instead of focusing solely on one facet, like analytical thinking, we should strive to polish all sides of our intelligence gem. This holistic approach can significantly enhance our overall cognitive abilities, making us not just more intelligent but also more adaptable, resourceful, and empathetic. Embrace the diverse dimensions of intelligence. It's not a one-size-fits-all concept but a symphony of different cognitive abilities working in harmony. How often do you challenge your mind to learn something new? This question may sound simple, but the answer holds the key to becoming sharper and more intelligent. Embracing lifelong learning is like opening the door to a vast library of knowledge. It's about continuously expanding your horizons, stimulating your intellect, and keeping your mind active and engaged. Think about it. When was the last time you picked up a book that wasn't required reading? Or when you enrolled in an online course just for the sheer joy of learning something new? What about a workshop that intrigued you? These are all examples of lifelong learning in action. Let's get practical. How can you incorporate learning into your everyday life? Start with reading. Books, articles, blogs, even social media posts can offer nuggets of wisdom. Don't limit yourself to one genre or topic. The wider your reading range, the broader your knowledge base. Online courses and workshops are another fantastic avenue. The internet is a treasure trove of free and affordable courses in virtually any subject. Whether it's coding, cooking, or classical music, there's an online course out there for you. Remember, learning doesn't have to be formal or structured. It can be as simple as asking questions, seeking answers, and indulging your curiosity. The key is to keep your mind active, engaged, and open to new ideas. Remember, the world is your classroom and every moment is a lesson waiting to be grasped. So let's embrace the journey of lifelong learning and become the best versions of ourselves. Do you take things at face value or do you question and analyze? Critical thinking is much more than just a buzzword. It's a vital skill to hone if your aim is to become sharp-minded and intelligent. It's like a mental muscle that becomes stronger with regular exercise and it's the secret sauce that spices up your intellectual life. Now let's break it down. What is critical thinking? It's the ability to analyze information objectively, question assumptions, and make decisions based on logic and reasoning. A critical thinker doesn't merely accept information as it is, but probes deeper, asking why, how, and what if. So how do you develop critical thinking skills? One way is to always question assumptions. Don't just accept what you hear or read without examining it. Ask yourself, is this true? How do I know it's true? What's the evidence? Another technique is to approach problems from multiple perspectives. Imagine you're viewing the problem from a mountaintop, then from a valley, and then from a helicopter. Each viewpoint will give you a different insight, helping you to understand the issue more fully. Also, develop a habit of analyzing information. This means breaking down complex issues into smaller manageable parts. It's like solving a jigsaw puzzle. You don't try to fit all the pieces together at once. Instead, you start with one piece, then slowly add others until the picture becomes clear. Remember, critical thinking isn't about being argumentative or stubborn. It's about being open-minded, curious, and analytical. Critical thinking is the intellectual Swiss army knife in your cognitive toolbox. Use it wisely. How frequently do you set challenges for your mind? Think about it. Just as our bodies need physical exercise to stay fit, our minds need mental challenges to stay sharp. This is where setting mental challenges and goals comes into play. 
Now why is this important? Setting mental challenges pushes your cognitive abilities, helping you to think more creatively, solve problems more effectively, and learn more efficiently. Essentially, it's like a workout for your brain. Now, let's talk about setting goals. But not just any goals. We're talking about SMART goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. These aren't just buzzwords. They're a proven method for setting goals that you can actually achieve. Specific goals are clear and well-defined. Measurable goals allow you to track your progress. Achievable goals are realistic yet challenging enough to stretch your abilities. Relevant goals align with your broader objectives and time-bound goals have a deadline, which creates a sense of urgency and motivates you to take action. You might be wondering, what kind of mental challenges and goals can I set? Well, it could be anything from learning a new language, solving complex puzzles, reading a challenging book, or even mastering a new skill. The key is to choose something that you find engaging and challenging. Remember, the goal isn't to overwhelm yourself, but to stimulate your mind and keep it sharp. So, go ahead, start setting those mental challenges and goals. Your mind is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. Ever tried solving a complex puzzle or playing a strategic game to test your wit? If you haven't, you might want to start. Brain-boosting activities like puzzles and strategy games are not just entertaining, they're also incredibly beneficial to our cognitive health. Let's take a closer look. When you're piecing together a jigsaw puzzle or trying to outsmart your opponent in a game of chess, you're essentially giving your brain a workout. These activities require focus, strategy, and problem-solving skills, all of which help improve your cognitive function. It's like flexing your mental muscles, and it doesn't stop there. Brain-boosting activities also enhance your memory. Remember the last time you played a game of Sudoku or a memory-matching game? You had to remember patterns and sequences, right? Well, each time you do that, you're strengthening your brain's ability to retain and recall information. But the benefits of these mental workouts extend beyond just boosting your memory and cognitive function. They also help you become more sharp-minded. As you navigate through the challenges of a complex puzzle or a strategic game, you're honing your ability to think critically and make quick, effective decisions. So the next time you have a few minutes to spare, why not pick up a puzzle or a game? It's not just fun, it's also a fantastic way to keep your mind sharp and agile. After all, brain-boosting activities are the gym workouts for your mind. Keep them in your daily regimen. Ever considered how your lifestyle choices impact your brain health? It's not just a rhetorical question. The connection is real and significant. Our brain, the command center of our body, is deeply influenced by our daily habits, and the choices we make can either fortify or deplete its vitality. Let's start with exercise. Regular physical activity gives our brain a healthy dose of oxygen and nutrients, promoting the growth of new neurons and connections. Think of it as a workout for your brain which can enhance cognitive function and memory. Next, nutrition. The brain is a high-energy organ and the food we eat plays a vital role in maintaining its health. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein and healthy fats can provide the necessary nutrients to support brain function. Then there's sleep. Our brain does some serious housekeeping while we're snoozing, clearing out toxins and consolidating memories. Adequate sleep is not a luxury, it's a necessity for a sharp, focused mind. And let's not forget stress management. Chronic stress can wreak havoc on our brain, impairing its function over time. Mindfulness practices such as meditation and yoga can help manage stress levels, creating a more peaceful environment for our brain to thrive. A healthy mind lives in a healthy body. Your lifestyle choices can either be your brain's best friend or its worst enemy. Make the right choices and your brain will thank you. Ever engaged in a heated intellectual debate that made you rethink your perspectives? Quite an experience, isn't it? Intellectual discourse, friends, is not just about flexing your mental muscles or showing off your knowledge. It's a thrilling roller coaster ride that takes you through the highs and lows of ideas, arguments, and perspectives. Imagine a world where everyone agrees with you. Boring, right? The beauty of intellectual discourse lies in diversity, in the clash and confluence of different thoughts and ideologies. It's like a hearty soup, the more ingredients you add, the richer it becomes. Sharing ideas and debating viewpoints might seem like a tug of war, but it's more of a dance. A dance where you lead sometimes, follow at others, but always learn. It pushes you to question, to probe, and to think outside the box. It's a mental workout that stretches your cognitive muscles and keeps your intellect sharp. But remember, the goal is not to win, but to learn. To learn from the wisdom of others, from their experiences, their knowledge, and their perspectives. 
It's about opening your mind to new possibilities, challenging your beliefs, and broadening your intellectual horizons. So the next time you find yourself in a passionate debate, don't shy away. Dive in, share your ideas, listen to others, and let the discourse shape and sharpen your intellect. After all, intellectual discourse is the spice that adds flavor to your cognitive feast. Savor it and let it broaden your intellectual horizons. Ready to embark on your journey to become more sharp-minded and intelligent? It's time to apply these strategies. Embrace lifelong learning, engage in intellectual discourse, and don't forget to challenge your mind with brain-boosting activities. Nurture your brain health and develop those critical thinking skills. It's all part of the journey. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest uploads. Share this video with friends, family, or anyone eager to sharpen their mind. Here's to embracing lifelong learning and intellectual growth with vitality.